All right, guys, we're doing Chopin's Ballade Number no. 1 in G minor today. Very famous classical piece. And so forth. Hello, I'm Sean Cheek. Welcome to my sight reading lessons on SeanCheek.com. This is actually a hired request. Uh, someone hired me to do this one specifically, uh, so I'm doing it, and it's going to go on SeanCheek.com, all of the rest of the lessons for this piece. Let me encourage you, if you have trouble reading music at all, or you need to retrain your brain how to sight read better, faster, and easier, try my 132 beginner sight reading lessons on SeanCheek.com. You can also download PDFs of all the sheet music so that you can have something to practice with on there. But let's get started with this. Uh, with the part one. Alright, uh, so I'm going to assume you can read music if you're trying this big piece here, okay? And you of course can enjoy classical music even if you cannot play it as fast as some of the great piano masters, okay? <clears throat> even if you play it at half speed or whatever, you still can find great enjoyment from playing these pieces. We're going to start with the right hand. Uh, we start Largo, Pesante, so we're going to be uh, strong and deliberate and slow at the beginning of this. And even though this is in G minor, we got two flats, B flat and E flat. We're starting what's called the Neapolitan. Okay, if we're in the key of G minor, the Neapolitan is that second scale degree, the lowered second scale degree. So that's what we're starting off of. And then we, then we get to G minor, we go to that five and then the one. So this A flat, Thing here is just a Neapolitan chord. It's it's a chord progression that's used quite common, okay, especially in the Romantic period. But anyway, we're going to start with a C on the thumb, and then uh, I'm going to count to. Now, I'm not going to do a whole lot of musical things in here. I'm mainly teaching you the rhythms and the fingering and the notes, okay? So one, two, three, and that's tied. And then I'm going to go E flat because we got two flats in key signature: B flat and E flat. All B's and E's are automatically flatted, okay? Two, three, E flat, and then A flat with three, B flat with four, and then middle C with five. Okay, so the right hand's in the bass clef there. Then we're going to go to one on the A flat there, and then we're going to go up to E flat with two, B flat with four, C with five, and then A flat with one, E flat with two, B flat with five, or, or four, sorry. And then that's a high C up there with five. G with two, B flat, A flat, G, and then F sharp. And you can do, you know, the fingerings are, are subjective. Uh, what is written here is fine. Now the left hand is going to play the same thing an octave lower. Okay, so we start with a low C with a fifth finger. That's tied. And then E flat with a four, A flat with a three, B flat with two, C with one, and then A flat, B flat, B flat, C, and then a flat with a five, B flat, B flat with three, two, or four, two, whatever you like. C is one, G, B flat, A flat, G, F sharp. So both hands are playing octaves together, and you need to count it, okay? Let's do it real slow. One, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and three, and four, and one, and two, and and four and most people will pedal and hold the pedal down through all of that and then they'll let it up towards the end about the A flat and then they'll let up and then pedal one thing at a time. I've even heard some people pedal all the way through. Uh, that may be too much pedal for me. Okay so we get the top one and two and three and four and. Now let's look at the then we have an eighth rest there. So that, that rest is important. See the rest there? So one and two and three and four rest. Okay, I'm going to keep going with this part one. Uh, we're going to do the whole thing on SeanCheek.com so you can get as much as I do here with the part one. Okay, so I'm going to keep going. Um, and then we're going to have this next phrase. That was the first phrase. Take a breath, a musical breath, and, and two and Again. 
rest. One, two, three, four, and okay, so you've got to count all of this. So make sure you count that rest at the end of the first system, and then there's a rest here. We're going to go octaves. Let's do the right hand first. F sharp, G, F sharp. I'm going to use two, three, two. And then E sharp is just like playing an F natural, right? But it's E sharp, then back to F sharp. And then A, I want to use a four. They have five, whatever you want. A, G, E flat, E flat. Now that E flat is flatter because it was E sharp. And then it's E flat there. And it's still, and then, then we're E flat because we uh, go to a new measure. So the uh, flats reset. And <clears throat> we have E flat in the key signature. Then a D with one. And then F, E flat, D, D. What you have to watch is the triplet. See the three there? This is a triplet at the end of this. This is also a triplet at the end of this. So we count that one and two and three and triple it. One E and a triple it. Three, four, one, two, three and four and... See how I counted that? Okay, let's do the left hand. It's also octaves. Um, F sharp, G, F sharp. We'll start with a two. E sharp, F sharp, A, G, E flat. And then this is again is another E flat. Now I'll play the first E flat with a four, and then I'll switch to a two when I play the second one. And then D with a three, F, E flat, D, D. So starting right here, it's one and two and three. So now we're going to make this our new starting place in a minute. But let's start at the beginning and go that far. Here we go. Go. One, two, and pesante. So this is our, our part one here. The rest of it, I'm going to do the whole ballad, okay? Take you through each measure, just like I've done here uh, on Chanchik.com. I hope you guys enjoy it. Talk to you later.